Guys, this is Mr. Muscle Car Suspect back again to another video. This time it's gonna be on my 2015 Camaro SS. We recently had done some videos on this car. Um, today's problem is actually, as you guys could tell in the title, my key has been getting stuck on my ignition and there is an easy way to fix. A lot of people have been saying that park your car as fast as possible, your gear all the way up and then remove the key. It worked for the first couple of times. Then not until I was stuck in Walmart for like 30 minutes. So I went ahead and did this process, it's very easy. So what you wanna do is you wanna, like mine is pulled, is pulled out, but I'm gonna show you guys, you wanna pull your steering wheel out as much as possible, pull it up and lock it. You wanna have your seat as back as possible, which is it is already. Um, the key will not come out. Um, I'm gonna show you guys an easy way to fix that. You wanna locate your three seven millimeter bolts, which are right here. And I'm gonna show you guys where those are at. Those are actually one right here, another one right here, and another one right here. It's three of them right close, fairly close to each other. Once you do that, you wanna go ahead and pop the top right here. Well, you wanna go ahead and... There you go. Kind of push on it and it'll come off. There you go. These are supposed to fall apart in two pieces. One. Trying to get this one off. There you go, two. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you're supposed to do. All right, so if I could have my camera guys zoom in as much as possible, you guys see where this little yellow box is at? This thing right here is actually keeping your, leak, uh, your key locked, sorry, your key locked right here. So that will not let your key come out. So what you wanna do is you wanna come over here. There's something, there's a little like lever right here that you click. Let me get the camera so I can get closer. I'm gonna show you guys exactly. All right, so you guys see exactly where. Ah. I'm trying to see that you guys can see it on the camera. All right, so is the key. You go back here and here's a little box so behind here you guys see this little lever thing right here you click on it and you pull the wire and here's the wire all right so when that once that's off your key should come right off let me get my camera guy to hold the camera once that's off you want to go ahead and put your key right out so once your key's right out it will no longer get stuck. Let me show you guys that it's not gonna get stuck no more. So let's back up real fast. And then let's pull back up forward. Usually even when I move my car, the key would get stuck. I'm gonna pull that back. Key comes right off. Very simple to fix guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to install it back on, very simple. As you guys can see, these two pieces right here will connect together. So as you guys can see right here, this little part goes on the inside, this little part goes on the, out, uh, on the inside too. They both come in the inside. So it's just that they're on each side different. So they will click on the inside like that and that's how you're gonna install them right here, but it's very simple. So you wanna go ahead and put back the right side first with the ignition where the ignition is at where your key goes i'm gonna go ahead and put that put it into place see this part right here you guys want to click them together all right so there you go it's clicked on together same thing on the other side i know you guys can't see but it's the same thing you want to come out to this side and you want to locate where each of those little things are at and click them together too at the bottom same thing you want to find where they're all at and click them together too very simple they click back on everything's back on you guys want to make sure everything's back in place you want to get each of your bolts i'm using this tool exactly this is like a little screwdriver but it's the detachable ones to put my my um screws back on so there we go installing my bolts tighten it 
as much as possible and not too tight either. You guys don't want to break nothing. Put my other bolt in. So um, while I'm doing this, um, I'm gonna explain to you guys what happened here. It's um, um, GM has a recall on certain vehicles because of the key getting stuck and also the only reason that it's because when GM had first taken out these vehicles, I'm gonna show you guys my key fob. The, the key used to come out through here. You used to click this, your key would come out. People were having issues where their key was on here and their knee was hitting them. When they hit their knee, their, their car would turn off. It would shut right off. So what GM did is created your key fob and um, they did a recall is where they, uh, you took in the key fob and they took out the key from here and it created a key itself. So I guess that was just creating issues where the signal wasn't going on here real well. There's people that use D40, you spray it onto this little button here and it actually loosens it up and, it's, and it doesn't get stuck no more because it actually it's getting stuck because of this. And um, there was a lot of recalls on GM because of these things and you were paying a shitload of money to do this. So if you guys wanna save hundreds of dollars, go ahead and do what I did. Your key will no longer get stuck. That wire will be off. Your, your key will not be getting stuck no more and you won't be having trouble no more so if this video helped you guys like the video share it comment if you're not yet new to the channel don't forget to subscribe welcome to the channel watch my other videos go ahead and like them thanks for watching this is mr muscle car suspect signing off peace